Hi everyone, it's Heather at Gypsy Crafter Journals. I thought I'd come on today and show you some envelope templates that are going up in the shop soon and I wanted to have a bit of a play with them so I thought I'd do that on video now. It's taken me a while to get around to doing this video because of homeschooling and working and whatnot and there never seems to be the right time to, to do a video and I'm sure you people know that because it's difficult times at the moment, isn't it? Anyway. I have printed off some of these um, really cute envelopes that have been sort of distressed and stained up. Um, they've all got sort of small images on the front, but they're quite neutral, these ones are, so they work really well um, in most of the junk journals that we do. Um, and these are going to be available as a download printable version on my Etsy shop. So now there are just a few of them and I printed those off as A5 so they're quite a small um, envelope when they're printed like that but they are available obviously the, the file itself um, has been designed to print off as an, A5, as an A4 rather so this is an A4 sheet and you can see sort of the scale of my hand um, so they do print off larger um, and they look quite nice that size as well uh, but I thought I'd do both. I've got some journaling cards that I've done with them as well so they're the ones <coughs> that go with the envelopes. I've printed these off on an A4 sheet but they also did some to match the uh, A5 envelopes um, and I printed these off onto cream card uh, to see how that would look and that just gives it an even more a deeper sort of a distressed look and that's printed off onto just the white 140 GSM slightly rough texture that I tend to use for my printing so I've got some journaling cards and I've got some envelopes I actually did a special one as well um, coloured in red because we've got Valentine's Day coming up so I thought I might do that one today um, and these are the there's a couple more that I've printed off for sort of Valentine's theme stuff so I'm hoping to get those done as well so that's the same design as the red one but in the cream distressed and then I've done some with pretty hearts on as well so there's quite a good variety now what I did was pick out some items from my stash and I've tried to colour code them colour code them I've tried to keep them coordinated so I've got some lovely heart shaped doilies and that's just because these are sort of a, a more off-white colour um, but I have got some pink, white, brown and red and I've also got various ribbons and lace and I picked out a few embellishments. I actually This week I actually went through my um, embellishment drawer, got quite a large desk with a, a very a great set of drawers um, either side of the desk but they are so long and um, the top drawer on the right hand side is absolutely packed full of embellishments but it was beginning to get a little bit um, messy putting it mildly um, and I had a couple of shoe boxes in there the plastic type that you get from sort of cheap shops and they work brilliantly but everything was sort of mixed up so I sorted it out into sort of the metal embellishments and the rhinestones and whatnot um, and tried to keep it a little bit more colour coordinated so I was able to find my stash quite easily today I've got these gorgeous little gems from an eaters I pulled those out as well and just a few little um, excuse me uh, buttons and embellishments that's a recycled, a bit of recycled can that I stained with some alcohol ink, I think. Um, and that, anyone who likes Lindor chocolate will recognise that as being one of the hearts that you get from around one of the um, one of the Christmas things. I think it's a reindeer has that on. Um, so I've got a few of those and also some brass rings that look a little bit like wedding rings. I thought they were quite cute. So a few odds and ends anyway to have a bit of a play with um, but I'm, I'm already feeling a little bit overwhelmed and actually I've put this video off a few times so let's hope that I can do this now I've got I've also got something I wanted to do today um, I have a candle here now I'm not going to light it straight away because I'll probably set fire to myself if I do uh, particularly with the glue I'm using but what I do want to do is use that with my um, sealing it. so I'm going to do a wax seal I think on this one uh, I've already cut this out obviously I'm 
and you can see this one's inked up in a different colour. But what I did think was, I'd seal it all down, pop a seal there and then I'll rip it open <laughs> on that side and then stuff it with the journaling card um, and then maybe like a little photograph um, and something like that. I haven't got any photographs with me at the moment but I thought that might be cute. Um, so that's the plan for that one. So I think for now what I'll do is just cut out a couple of these envelopes. I've already cut out some of the journaling cards but I need to get some of the envelopes. So if we just sort of stick with the love theme, maybe if I go with a small one with the flowers on and I'll go this one with the, this is a slightly more modern look with a geometric heart frame. But with it being Valentine's Day coming up, I thought that would be nice. So how's everybody doing? Hope you're all having some fun. That the anxiety is not getting to you all so much. Homeschooling this week has been interesting. I think frustrations are running a little bit high at the moment. I'm back at work, so having to work and supervise homeschool doesn't always work particularly well for levels of frustration and I have to admit I felt a little bit tense this week though my daughter both my daughters are doing their best and they're doing a brilliant job but the youngest sort of lacks motivation at the moment and has to be um, helped a bit more and I think it's not that she actually even needs the help. I think, to be honest, she could just get on with it and get things done. But she's still quite young. And um, I think she needs the attention. So she comes and asks for help, even, I think, sometimes when she doesn't need it. Which can be a bit frustrating because, obviously, I have a job to do. And a house. And all the other things that go with it. So... I admit we've been a little bit behind so it's Saturday today but she's actually downstairs finishing off some schoolwork now because we don't want to get behind. It's important that she does her schoolwork. So she's downstairs so may well be interrupted but we'll have to see what happens. I think it's tough on the little kids because they can't see their friends. And normally school is a joy for them because that's where they see their friends and they love their teachers and they have a lot of fun when they're there and the teachers are great at keeping them engaged and they swap activities don't they and they're there to answer questions whereas if she asks me any questions I mean I'm not completely stupid obviously <laughs> I can function in everyday society but it's a long time since I went to school and I can't remember um, what, what I learnt when I was there to be honest with you um, I don't think we got taught half of the stuff that they do they seem so much more advanced than I was when I was at secondary school um, so every time she asked me a question I then have to look it up on Google in order to be able to explain it and um, that takes time which means we just get more and more behind I don't, I don't understand how the other parents are doing it I really don't. They must just all be very clever or just remember their schooling. Maybe they're a lot younger than me. Maybe they just remember what they did. But I don't, I'm afraid. So I did find um, I did find it useful to print off some of the basics around English so we could refer to it over and over again, which I think I've done um, before the summer anyway but um, I printed off some colour cards and clipped them together with a book ring and that's been quite helpful this week but even the simplest of things she'll ask me a question I'll, I, I just don't understand I don't even understand the question but then if you sort of look it up on the internet and think oh yeah why didn't I why didn't I understand that and it's just because of some of the terminology perhaps I'm unfamiliar with so it's left me feeling a little bit dim, put it that way. Oh, come on. Oh, 
my eyesight's not great either. <laughs> These are so easy to cut out though, it's, it's a nice shape. There we go. So, what have we got here? So we've got uh, one of the heart frame ones, which is the same as that one, but obviously that's a different colour. One of the flower um, pictures, line pictures, and then the heart, which is a little bit more modern. So I'm not sure actually, now I'm looking at that one, I might save that one. We shall see, and I think I'll pop these to one side because there's only so much we can do. Um, so I'll cut, I have cut out a couple of the plain ones. So this set will come with um, some decorated journal cards just with paint basic images on. So you can use them as is. You could easily just cut these out, back them onto some pretty paper, or just back them back to back. Or you can decorate them. I'll cut this one out because I think this one goes quite nicely with a geometric shape. Um, floral one, I think I'll just use a plain black one. And I might use, I think I'll use the, like hearts and keys, I think. I'm not sure whether I just hit the camera with the scissors. I don't know what happened just there. But if I did, I apologise. I wasn't trying to stab you. So I've got one for that one. Just plain one for that one, although I'm wishing I'd printed it off on paper now. That one. That. And I think actually, well, oh no, because that's a large one, isn't it? So I'll leave that because I've already got some plain ones. Right, so we can put these away now. Get that out. Okay. Right. So, like I say, you could just back the cards with some, excuse me, pretty paper, so this for example, let's, let's put some glue on here, now this is clever, I've actually forgotten my glue, so just one second, okay, we have glue, just pop a little bit of glue, on the back. Oh, have I got a card for smooshing it? Amazon gift card. I'll cut that out. I did see on one of the journaling groups on Facebook that I'm in that they do. Um, a random act of kindness sort of giveaway thing and I thought what a lovely idea so I'm considering taking a couple of people's names off the list and sending something nice through the post <laughs> um, because I've got quite a lot of stuff that I quite frankly should really de-stash 
Um, if we back this one, what should we back this one on? Might just see if that one will work. Because I've got now, I'm not thinking about this, whether that will work back to back. I did make them so that they would do back to back, but once you've cut them out, of course, they don't always fit perfectly, do they? I think that's that way around, actually. Oh, no, I'm going to have to. that one. Let's cut that out and see if we can back to back it. Um, yeah, because I want to do a bit of a de stash. I've got quite a lot of pastel card items that might be nice to send out to somebody and quite a lot of general scrapbook type stuff because I did notice a few of the ladies just put that they uh, they would take anything because they just didn't have a lot of stash and I thought oh I have a lot of stash so I'm happy to send some off to people I remember the days when I didn't have a lot. Ah, that's better. If I just put that on there, then what I'll have to do is just trim around it. You could, of course, print them off with a decent backing. On it. So if you print to um, coffee stained paper or onto scrabble paper or something then that would prevent the need to have to back them onto anything really wouldn't it? Oh, I got this the right way around now. Probably not. It's funny, this week I've had three people contact me in the shop, the Gypsy Crafter Journal shop. I have another Etsy shop as it happens, but not that one. Um, asking me about wholesale prices. Um, so, word of warning, if you have an Etsy shop and you don't want to do wholesale prices, do not list anything really low, low priced or with the word cheap in your tags word of warning it does attract people who despite the fact that you're selling something for a, an absolutely rock bottom price they want it even cheaper than you are selling it for originally so don't do it because to be honest with you it doesn't really attract the sort of customers you want unless of course you are thinking of wholesaling items and uh, making things in huge amounts in order to even remotely make a profit. The issue being, of course, I have listed some small notebooks, A5 notebooks, that I made up just because I happen to have some scrap card and paper and I didn't want to throw it away. It's one of those things where, as a junk journaler, as a journaler, as a crafter, you have supplies sometimes and uh, you have too many of them. Sometimes they're recycled or sometimes, in my case, a lot of the time, it's offcuts from other projects. And uh, you don't want to throw them away, but you don't know what else to do with them. So you think, right, well, I'll just make something usable with it and then list it on Etsy at a really low price. It might bring in some views to the shop and a little bit of interest maybe because then people might start looking at your other items in your shop um, and it does bring in some people and people have bought these little books I've got them listed I literally had them listed at 50 pence each and now at 65 pence and this sort of a bundle deal to get them cheaper um, because I realised that literally that was not making um, enough to cover <laughs> the costs of basically losing money on them um so people do buy them but i feel like well that's good because at least then they know that the shop exists it bought something from me i can get a review hopefully 
um, and also I'm not wasting some materials that somebody could make something out of and that they could enjoy and I feel really good about doing that but the problem is because it's such a cheap item it's just bringing in these people that want something for nothing essentially they they see something cheap and think oh yes I want a handmade seller to make something for me but they don't realize that when you're hand making items it actually takes quite a lot of time and for you to actually do that to make profit you have to up your prices your prices actually do have to be beyond a certain amount you can't if unless you're a mass manufacturer or you're making items in bulk you can't sell items at a really low price it's just not it's not feasible and it certainly isn't a good business model for an individual um, because you just don't make any profit you know, obviously there are people that make profits and if you do make items in bulk and you buy your items in cheap but if you you know you, you have ethics and you're not buying from um, places with sort of dubious labor um, issues then you know usually buying from a place that is responsibly sourcing and um, is a hand maker somebody who actually uses their own labor to make things it's not usually feasible to sell items for a pound or less so uh, it's been quite an interesting experience this week fending off people who want um, something for practically nothing um, I did have a nice lady though contact me from a charity and she wanted a discount which I was happy to give to be honest but it turns out um, that she wasn't able to buy in the end anyway um, but you know that did attract somebody different but it just it it absolutely astounded me how many people it was attracting of a certain type that just wanted mass manufactured things but to be able to say it was from a somebody who was a handmade seller so yeah interesting needless to say I didn't actually sell anything I have to say this isn't a particularly successful shop at the moment but you know it's early days although I've had the shop open for many years I didn't actually sell anything on the shop I didn't have anything on the shop until very recently and to build up any Etsy store takes quite a lot of time um, it's just it is just time consuming uh, the SEO uh, building up a product inventory um, my ultimate aim is to have um, more printable items I want really I want it to be a printable shop um, or with uh, digital um, courses rather excuse me so um, ultimately that's the aim but at the moment it's a little bit um, it's slow it's slow going can you tell my mood's a little bit low isn't it at the moment but we're going to move on we're getting through this um, right I need to now back um, these two now I've printed that off on card so I think I can probably get away with just inking that uh, but this one I'm thinking I probably should do something with it, put something on the back of that. So let's see what else we've got in the stash. Oh. I'm just rummaging through my scraps bin at the moment, see if there's anything, I don't know, would it be in a journey card, I'm, not, I'm thinking maybe handmade paper would be, wouldn't be great, would it really, no, uh, got a nice piece of lined paper but unfortunately it's the wrong colour so I think I'm going to have to go with oh this is good look at that my love my life I think we'll go with that shall we yes so and I know I've asked this and I know a lot of people aren't actually watching my videos at the moment but if you've got an Etsy shop particularly if you sell those papers that are dyed um with sort of vegetable dyes, coffee, that sort of thing, please put your link, link for your shop, or at least in name, I don't know whether you're allowed to put your links in the comments, but put your shop name in the comments, because I would love to be able to check them out, 
because I am after some uh, dyed paper. Obviously it's easier when you protect your work surface, isn't it? Okay. Well, this is therapy anyway. The other day I was feeling quite down and I, uh, even though I've been putting off doing this video, as soon as I started pulling out bits and bobs uh, to make or to embellish these journal cards and envelopes, it started to make me feel better. It did elevate my mood a little bit. Just goes to show crafting is the best therapy. I like that, my love, my life. Lovely. Right, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do now. What did I say I was going to use? I was going to use. Which one was I going to use? That one with the. With that one. That one with that one. So we'll use a plain one that's double sided with the red one because that's easily coloured. And that one with the small one, although I don't actually like the colour of that, so I might have to do that later. <coughs> Print some off onto white so at least they're the same. So if we do a little bit of colour at first to match around the edge, because the journaling cards. <laughs> are all in cream at the moment. So it doesn't go... Oh, oh I've made a mess of that. I'm going to have to cover that off. Let's see if it's easier. Oh, gosh, it's making such a mess. It's like somebody's been murdered. That's right, it'll get covered up with something, won't it? My bloody Valentine, isn't it? You know what? I have just realised what I've done because I squeezed some ink onto it earlier, so it's just picked up the ink spots. <laughs> right, hatch. Right, so I'm clearly going to have to do something to mask that. I should not have used that ink. Should have put it on the mat first. Right, so let's seal this down first. I should have done that before I sealed it up from that really. Because I'm going to tear into it, you're going to see that. I'll link the edges anyway, but just to make sure. Gosh, I'm doing this all the wrong way around, aren't I? Right, now I can seal that. open I'll get a little something just to tear that side down now while I'm at it I may as well do these as well so now I've cut that one out I can just they're really easy to fold into shape because the lines are there to help you I 
I just heard my husband come home, so I might have to stop in a minute. So, again, what we're going to do... It's a lot easier, isn't it, if you ink it before you seal it. as well. I'm folding them on anyway because I like to get the ink in the groove. aren't uploaded yet but hopefully they will be by the time this video is available who knows whether they will or not actually we might have uh, last one which I might end up doing another time but I may as well fold it now anyway I've got another couple of videos coming up um, a couple of good ideas, or I think they're good ideas anyway, of things to make. So I'll be filming those later, hopefully. I hope the lighting's okay because it's gone incredibly dark out now. Right, so. doing if you haven't got any ink obviously just cut a little bit closer to the edge because obviously the image itself is inked so you can see where to fold it and where to cut it out so it is quite well in anyway, but obviously I've got it next to me, so I may as well use it. Done, but because I want to seal it, I just want to use a wax seal. I'm actually going to seal it down at the top. But you know, you don't have to seal them down, obviously, you can leave them as a normal envelope. Or, you know, if you really wanted to, you could make them into a pocket and just stick them down and have them so they open and reveal a photograph. You know, you don't have to use them as an envelope per se.
Okay. Just make sure I had it the right way up. So when these are full, they'd be nice to sort of clip inside a journal, like a little love letter. Last one. fold up very nicely so I'm really pleased with that that looks really good so even with the scale as A5 they still fold lovely I think sometimes the small envelopes can be a bit fiddly can't they but it's quite good there we go. so there are all the envelopes sealed a little bit of ink around this journaling card. It's still damp, I can feel. Cutting. Well, I don't think I've done a bad job to be fair on this one. It's pretty good. I think I should probably seal it first because then the plan is to put an embellishment in that area and obviously that's then going to make it a little bit bulky. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to do the sealing now, which means I need to move things out of the way so I don't set fire to everything. Here we go. Let's move these extra journaling cards out of the way. So we're going to seal that one, that one, and that one. This is my little set of sealing. I use alphabets. So. little brass discs that um, are debossed with uh, an alphabet letter and that just screws onto the handle and then when you press it in it obviously makes an embossed image so that's the right way up we need to light 
the candle. And I normally use red, as you can see, but actually today I'm quite happy to go for a bit of a hybrid there, so I'm going to actually go with gold because I'm going to use sort of a ready gold on that one and hopefully it will get a bit more gold for these two. I wonder whether I could use a cute little bit of lace, whether that would hold. I might try that. What I really need is one of those um, spoon holders. I need to get one really. Because I can't do two things. I can't hold it at the same time as cutting things. So that's already got a little bit in there. So we'll mix that up. The gold as it melts. This is a very satisfying process. I love it. Oh, it's getting all squishy. Oh, that's so satisfying. Lovely, so it doesn't take very long to melt. Lovely, a little bit of a stir, mix those colours up. I think what I'll do before it cools completely, after I've finished the last one, I'll wipe it out and then I can decide what colour to use afterwards. Um, I saw Till and Tat had had a box of lots and lots and lots of colours. I only have the two because I tend to do the vintage stuff. It probably would be nice to have different colours, wouldn't it? Right, I am thinking I want a little bit of that lace on there and see how that works because that's really cute. So I'm just going to pop that down for a second. Grab my rather large scissors and just hack off a piece of this and just put it to one side. So I'm going to say if this seals very well. Apologies, I think I might only be able to film half an hour in a go, so we'll have to see. Yes, I think that's what it's doing, it's actually counting down. I don't know whether that's the setting I've got it on, but never mind. So it turned off, but I've turned you back on again. So I'm hoping it will go through the holes here in the crochet lace, but we'll see. I've never done this before, so. Right then, should be warm enough, so I'm just gonna pour it on. Considering I'm using the lace, I probably needed another uh, another one of those little beads, but let's give it a go as it is. So that's the top. Right, and we'll leave that just for a moment. So the next one is this one. Let's get. I do three beads at a time. Shall we try a different one this time? See if it works. Maybe that one. I'm wondering whether a doily might have been nice actually on that. That's too big really. I they like the crochet lace. Just a moment, my husband's back, I'm just going to turn the camera off. Okay, so I think my husband's quiet now, 
So what I'm going to do is put uh, this gold on here, but I was just using some of the little metal embellishments and I was wondering, I wonder if I put if I put the wax on whether that would actually hold an embellishment in place. Now I don't know whether it will, it might not, it might be too heavy, but I'm thinking I might give that a go and just see what works. So I'm just going to pour that on there and sort of use it as a wax seal that you sort of leave in place. That's almost heart shaped, isn't it? So let's see what that looks like. Quite cute. So this one's done, so that's quite cute. Right, last one, um, what should we do here, maybe, maybe a little bit of this, if I tie that into a bow, seal it there so Side before I burn anything else. I'm going to actually remember to bring the baby wipes over. That's going to be hot, so 
very careful. Most of that out. To be honest, it probably would have worked better with a tissue, but I didn't want bits of tissue stuck in it just in case. And most of it's come out because it's still quite soft. There we go. Ink up. a silly idea. Let's see if this works. interesting. I have to be very careful because I stuck it open. Now normally when I seal things, thinking about it, I usually pop that inside and I didn't. So there's a warning. Have a bit of heat proof mat inside and it stops you from sticking. So that can now be inked. fast. That's pretty good. Probably would have been better had it been maybe rounder. But it does actually look a bit like a heart. So I've got this big bulky embellishment on that side and I want to decorate this side up. If we just do one today, go with this one. So what I wanted to do was add just a little part in the corner. Maybe a little bit of lace. It's my daughter giggling, I'm not sure why.
maybe that one is a bit more delicate. That's got a lovely phrase. Okay, I'm back. Um, my daughter's finished her English homework, so that's really good. So now I can put this together because we're nearly done now. I'm just going to pop this one down. I don't normally use coloured doilies, but I had it, so I thought let's use it. I'll just pop that just there. Then my glue has been stored up right. There we go, let's put that there. That probably could have done with being a little bit higher. because you can see the colour of that doily poking out. Looks good. Then we're going to go with that, weren't we? But I'm thinking what I might do is just pop this back on. I might just ink that round. out just a few little 
word, and I think I've got love in here. I love, there we go. there. Was that overdoing it? this one. I think actually I probably should have plugged in the hot glue gun which I was going to do but considering I was also playing with fire I decided not to at the last minute. is really greasy. It's not actually just a sticker. So we'll see how long that lasts. Right now last bit I think do we need, no I could have took that behind it, never mind. Do we need a bit of bling? Too big. Too pink. Mm, quite cute. on but you know I think I'll just stick with that. I do like these black black pearls. So we've got, we can write something on the front there, although it's going to be more difficult now without it. That'll be nice, sort of stuffed with a journaling card, maybe an envelope, um, maybe a photo attached to it with a paper clip. So I quite like that. that I'm not sure about, obviously I need to deal with that, but for now I think I'm going to leave it at that and I'll have a think. It's a bit too bright white I think, but I actually quite like that. There we go. So, I was going to do a similar thing with this one, but maybe a different colour. going to use that one that so oh now that one is going to be really difficult to ink up and decorate now because of the embellishment on the back in fact almost I feel like it's going to have to go in a book that way up and be clipped on that way on the book cover 
because of this huge embellishment so I might have to leave it at that so I could leave that one as it is and this one has the prettiness on the back so again I do want to do something on the front but that's because I stuck it together like this this knobbly bit inside so I think we're going to have to do something here just to hide that so let's see what we've got All pink but ridiculous shall we go with the red for continuity actually that's not too bad is it Oops. we put that there Can keep some of the heart showing. Oops.
Okay, that's good. Now, do we want to go overboard with that? No, I don't think we do. Hmm, no. What do I want to do? Anything? Or shall we just finish it off? something different there, maybe popping a label or something. Um, but I haven't got anything to hand, so I'm going to have to leave that for now. So, we've done one, two, three. Now, I know I haven't done any of the journaling cards, but I think I'm going to have to leave that for now, because I think it's got me started. So, now I've made it. Look at the state of that. So, I think I'm going to end the video there. Thanks very much for joining me. Um, I'm really pleased with the way they've turned out and um, I think that just goes to show how easy they are going to be to use because you don't really have to do a great deal to them to make them look quite cool and then that can be stuck just popped in almost as a bookmark once the journaling cards in there with a little photograph attached then that will look really cute um, and I'll add a little bit more space to our journaling into the book so thanks very much for joining me I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I know it's been sort of stop and start, but um, if you have enjoyed it and you want to see more, then do click the notification bell if you're subscribed. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.